How about the Dodgers? The greatest 50-game run in 100 years. Here's where I get nervous. And I know Dodger fans don't want to hear this. But I go back to Seattle. Now, this is different than Seattle when Seattle won 116 games. They didn't have an ace. And when you get to a seven-game series or when you get to that, hey, we're tied at two or we're down two games to one, we have to win the next one. You have to have the guy who wins that game for you. Seattle didn't have that. Great team, great regular season team. And there is a difference. I always thought the Cardinals were an unbelievable postseason team. They were built for the postseason, not necessarily a great regular season team. The Cubs almost lost last year. I mean, you got to keep that in mind. We looked at them as, as, as invincible. They almost lost. You got to have Kershaw, you know, and Darvish has been great too. You know, that's a great pickup there. They got off, they have everything you want right now, everything. But it's weird when you get into a series where it just, the pitching matchups or you lose a game you're not supposed to lose. You know, that's the thing you got to keep in mind. That's all. You know, I, I'm not throwing water on the parade here. I'm just filling up a bucket, though, just to make sure that you understand you got to have expectations here, but reasonable ones. Are you the best team? Yes, right now. The best team doesn't always win. And you might win more than 116 games. But strange things happen in the postseason. Strange matchups happen. Fluke here. Your star pitcher doesn't act like a star pitcher. Then all of a sudden, somebody put in a position they're not used to being put into. But this 50-game run, 43-7, and seven, dusted off the Mets again last night, deserves to be praised. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.